Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be trying out some new stuff from Tarte. They have this new line of makeup that includes this particular type of oil. I was not 100% on how to say it, so here we go. Maracuja. 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 So, if I'm saying it wrong, it's his fault. So the main event today is going to be the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Now separate from that line, but still new from Tarte, is this Tarte See and Protect powder thing. It's got powder in it and it's got a brush. It's like a thin, it, so I was very intrigued. So we're gonna try it out with all of this stuff today. Obviously this is supposed to be hydrating. This has SBF in it. So are these gonna be our new go-to summer products? Let's find out. Keep watching. Maracuja. So I got the mini one. So they released a full size one that is one fluid ounce for $29. And this is the mini. I believe it's $15 and it's half a fluid ounce. So I actually really appreciate that about Tarte that they release minis and full sizes. I also got the mini Maracuja Miracle Mist, Maracuja Glossy Lip Oil. And then I have this little sample thing of their Creaseless Concealer, which is a part of this Maracuja family. So let me get this Glossy Lip Oil out. Oh, what is a Glossy Lip Oil even? It's pretty. Oh, it smells really good. This applicator is weird. Cool. So let's find out a little bit of information on this Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. So this is from the Tarte website. What it is. Juicy Skin is in. This vegan, ultra lightweight, and hydrating tinted moisturizer delivers a sheer wash of color while infusing skin with Maracuja Superfruit for 12 hour hydration and wear. Just apply with your fingertips. Okay. What it does. Skincare infused formula delivers sheer buildable coverage to help even out skin tone and minimize the appearance of imperfections for a smoother, hydrated, and healthy look. Ultra lightweight to give a naturally radiant finish that looks and feels like your skin but better. Maracuja oil, hyaluronic acid, vegan collagen, turmeric, and aloe go to work to hydrate, soothe, and help brighten skin's appearance. How to use apply formula to primed skin and blend out with fingers. Why we love it. It's the ultimate fuss-free complexion formula that won't mask who you are just enhances your natural beauty. Okay. So I don't normally apply makeup with my fingertips, but it does say that explicitly twice in the description. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. I guess I'm still gonna just put it on the back of my hand like I always do and work from there just with my fingies. Here we go. That is really sheer coverage. Oh, it smells weird. I don't like that. I don't know that I like the way it smells. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm really wanting right now? A sponge. I'm back with a sponge. A tiny sponge. Oh, blah, but a sponge nonetheless. Let's continue. It's very dewy which it said it had a radiant finish. I'm gonna let it see if it wants to settle into my skin a little before I powder. Yeah, I do wanna try out this creaseless concealer. It's just a little sample card, but I kinda wanna try it. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I just ripped it off. Wow. I don't ever really use sample cards like this, so I had no idea like what it was like. I have a little bit under here. Now Tarte Shape Tape is my favorite concealer, as is, you know, everyone's. <laughs> so expectations are high for Tarte, especially as far as concealer goes. So we'll see what I think about this one. Now, while I let that all settle in a little bit, I do wanna talk about this powder that I got from Tarte. This is not part of the same Maracuja family, but it is also a new release from Tarte, just on a different line. It is the Tarte C Set and Protect Mineral Powder Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I thought this would be good to try out with the little tinted hydrator because this has SPF, whereas the tinted hydrator does not have SPF. So this baby right here 
what it is. Brush on, a beauty barrier with this vegan brush on SPF 30 with non-chemical sunscreen filters for easy protection that also sets makeup for 12 hours. Good. <laughs> What it does. Translucent mineral powder sunscreen defends skin from harmful UVA, UVB rays. It brushes on effortlessly and sets makeup with no chalky finish. Formula never feels greasy and keeps your hands clean. You'll want to keep reapplying all day, which we recommend. Plus, it smells like vanilla. Press bottom button to dispense powder into brush. So, oh. So I'm gonna start on the back of my hand. Yep, there's powder in there for sure. Interesting. Do you see that? Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. It does smell like vanilla. settling in very like matte. It's almost like natural finish. I wish it was maybe a little more mattifying. As I was putting it on, I was kind of thinking that maybe I should have set my face with like a normal powder, lightly, whatever, and then go back over it with this. I don't know. I like to use like a fair bit of powder just because I have oily skin. I don't know. Too much powder might defeat the purpose of like a light tinted moisturizer SPF powder day, whatever. But anywho, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and I will be right back and we will check out, where did she go? Girl, where'd you go? Oh my God, I just had it. Oh, here it is. Maracuja Miracle Mist. Uno momento. Okay, so that's my makeup today. <laughs> I mean, y'all, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm locked in my, I'm not locked in my house, but you know what I mean? We're self-isolating, doing that thing right now. I'm working from home, so. So this is as glam as I felt like I needed to get today, really. And it's a tinted moisturizer, so we're just doing a little natural kind of a thing today. Now, oh, I feel like this is gonna get oily. I don't have a lot of confidence in it as of right now. I mean, it's only been on for Less than an hour at this point. It's a radiant finish, it's a tension moisturizer. It goes against all of my best instincts as far as like what to use for a base, but whatever. We're gonna see if it will work for my oily skin. It does say, you know, reapply this throughout the day, so we'll, we'll give that a shot. The only kind of powder that I used otherwise was my bronzer and my blush. I'm keeping the Milani powder nearby just in case things start to get a little greasy though. But before we carry on with our wear test, we're gonna try out this little setting spray first. So what it is. Prepare to be obsessed with this ultra fine, continuous vegan superfruit setting mist that effortlessly refreshes skin and sets makeup for 12 hours with a naturally radiant finish. So skin looks healthy and hydrated. Makes makeup waterproof to help prevent makeup from cracking, taking, or fading. Powerhouse maracuja and brightening papaya gives skin a firmer, brighter, and smoother looking appearance. Rose flower water and cucumber fruit water help maintain pH balance and soothe skin. All right, let's check it out. Can't really smell it, but let's... Oh, I don't like it. Fenty! Same as with a radiant finish foundation. I'm not really one to reach for a radiant finish or dewy finish kind of setting spray or mist or anything like that, but we're trying something new today. Yeah! Oh, I look shiny, I feel like. It doesn't have a very strong smell. I like the way that the mist feels on my face. It does feel very refreshing. It's dry down, I'm not crazy about at the moment. We will see how it wears. I will check back in in a few hours. I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything, so I should remember to check in. But we'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. Hey, what's up? So I'm just standing here in my kitchen. The lighting is terrible. I apologize. Just been doing chores and domestic things around the house. I should disclose that I recorded my intro immediately after I finished putting everything on. <laughs> and I started editing it right after 
I recorded my intro and was watching myself in the intro and was like, oh my gosh, my face is so shiny. <laughs> I immediately went in and put some Milani powder on my face and that really reduced the shine and mattified things and so I think we're doing okay now like I said the lighting's not great here I haven't really looked in the mirror at it it's been on for about four hours now I'll take it off in another four hours or so so I'll be right back Maracuja. so it's been on for eight hours. I just been holed up in my house all day. So I pretty much have just been watching the clock and like eight hours is long enough for a wear test, right? Just because I kind of like not doing anything. I just feel like there isn't really a reason for me to still be wearing makeup right now. <laughs> okay, so first off, I did mention in my little check-in that I had to powder my face. And I did that like right after I recorded everything from this morning. <laughs> I used some Milani Conceal and Perfect powder. There's nothing like particularly special about this powder. It's a good powder. It's just what I had sitting like right here. And it's a shine proof powder. As far as the lip oil goes, I put some on just a moment ago. I like it, it's nice. Do you need to run out and buy it? Definitely not. It's really cute, really pretty. Feels good, smells good. Yeah, so like if you want it, have it. You don't need it. The Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I'm actually pretty surprised. Once I put that Milani powder on, I was like good to go for the day. Didn't have to mess with it, it didn't bother me. I'm looking at it now and it looks pretty good. It goes on super sheer at first, but you can build it up a little bit and it looks pretty good now after eight hours. So cool beans. This guy, I don't mind. I think that these three together on their own, probably not the best for oily skin. If you want a really dewy, shiny finish, then yeah, these three together will give you a nice shine. But if you have dry skin and you like tinted moisturizers and radiant finishes and dewy finishes, then these would be great for you. I just turn into such a grease ball like so quickly when I have like a radiant finish. This powder did not mattify things enough for me. And then the setting spray really just set it over the top as far as dewy shininess goes. Not necessarily a combo I'm gonna return to. However, each of these products on their own and with different products, I like a lot. So like this setting spray, I think I'm gonna really like when I have like a matte foundation on and then matte powder on top. And if things start to feel a little too dry, this could kind of bring a dry finish back to life for you. And same thing with this tinted moisturizer. If I want a really light wash and just go in with a little bit of powder, not this powder, but some kind of shine proof powder, mattifying powder, it's a really nice little tinted moisturizer. It has skincare elements to it. Before I set it with powder, it did kind of tingle, itch just a little bit, just ever so subtly, but it does have skincare elements to it. So I think that that's probably why it's just like working into the skin or something, I don't know. Um, the creaseless concealer actually held up decent. I like my shape tape better, but it, I mean, you know, Tarte, good job. You did it again with the concealer. It looks acceptable. This guy definitely uses like a topper, but on its own is powder. Just not quite the right finish to use on its own, but certainly will be very, very handy for days when I'm like outside, if I'm going to the barn and I need like a SPF, this is gonna be really handy to just kind of like toss in your bag. I am a little concerned about the hygienicness of it. Is that how you would say that? I was worried it's, you know, how do I clean it? There's that, but otherwise it's a it's a nifty little nifty little thing. Cool. New products, good new products. Kind of had to figure them out a little bit, but I'm happy with the end result and my makeup looks perfectly fine for being on for 8 hours. I think it looks decent. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are able to maintain your sanity during all of this craziness. I am doing the best that I possibly can to maintain my sanity. Working from home is going to get old really fast, I feel like. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please come back and watch another one very soon, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
Maracuja.